everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I want to share with you my experience with artist block and just a lack of motivation in general. Before I started this painting, I was so unmotivated and procrastinated even starting it. I had no ideas, no direction for a piece that I wanted to go with, but I had to because I wanted to put out a new video and I wanted to be creative. Even though the last thing that I wanted to do was pick up a paintbrush, I still tried. So here's how I managed to get myself out of an artist block funk. The first thing I did was look at other artists who inspire me, for example, Jimena Reno and Talia Stanton. Both will be linked below. Seeing other artists with the skills that I hope to one day have and the looseness of their work and the creativity that they're able to convey, it reminds me of what my own art is all about and what I want my art to be about. I often get caught up in the technical part of painting. I'm still learning and have so much to practice. Sometimes when you spend all your time painting just to learn the skills and you judge your art harshly, it stops being fun and you lose some of that creativity. The other thing I did to inspire myself was to look at my own art, not the studies that were done purely for learning, but the art that I did for myself for fun. The paintings that I did when I was at my most creative. Ones where I just threw paint down almost carelessly and used color for expression. Painting what I want instead of what I see in references. Letting go. Seeing how I was once capable of being that free with my art was exactly the inspiration that I needed to start this piece. I found that there's sometimes a lack of balance when we do creative endeavors as more than just a hobby. It can be hard to balance the left brain and the right brain, that analytical versus the creative, especially when you're trying to get better at whatever your creative endeavor may be. And it's hard to put aside the fear of not being good enough or not being skilled enough. And sometimes I find myself falling into a cycle where I simply don't want to do the thing that brings me a lot of joy because I get so scared of how I'll react to my own failure. <laughs> I get caught up in how harshly I would judge myself for not doing it perfectly. But the truth is that some of my best works are made when I'm not striving for perfection. Some of my favorite paintings that I've created have been made not because I was practicing my skills, but because I was letting go and just creating from myself.
I hope that watching my painting process and hearing how I work through my own artist block is able to inspire you as well. As always, thank you for watching and I hope you'll join me in my next video.